Hey guys, what is going on YouTube? Today we are at uh, a dealership here in Rancho Cordova and we're checking something out. Uh, it's right over here, right, 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 right there. Right, you can kind of see the roof. Gonna kind of peek it a little bit. But um, actually here to look at two cars. There's this one Escalade here that we kind of want to check out. But this is this is the main one, right, 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 right there, right, right there. So uh, I gotta wait for the rain to die down a little bit before we get out because I'm not trying to get completely soaking wet. And it's decided to start pouring as soon as we got into the city. So yeah. We'll step out in a minute. Oh, 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 it's a C6. It looks really good in person. I've been looking at pictures all week. All right, guys, so this is the car. Checking her out today. It's a beautiful C6. It's really good condition. It's a really good example of a C6. The paint's in really good shape. Uh, I'll go in through this window to show you guys the interior. It's kind of wet on that side. It's the top of the line. I think it's like a 2LT or 3LT back in the days. I don't know what they were called. You guys can see. Nice leather, it's got the mode selector and everything. It's a beautiful car. The paint is in really nice shape. It's got uh, C7 Z06 wheels, I think they, those are. I don't know if they're replicas or OEM. They're probably replicas. Yeah, I think they're replicas. I don't see a Z06 emblem anywhere, but they're really nice rims. It's in really good shape for a 2005 car. It, the paint's almost in better shape than that thing is. If only if it wasn't pouring, it's really pouring. It's got the same tips as my Camaro. It's got the wicked flow tips, which I don't know if I can see the muffler. And my alarm's going off. But I think it's got a muffler delete. All right, guys, so huge shout out to this dealership. Uh, they were really cool, handed me the keys to let me go test drive it. Didn't record on the test drive just because it's really raining and I want to focus completely on driving right now. Let me, let me start backing that out of here. But really love the car. And even though, yes, it is an LS2 uh, Corvette, it's not the LS3 one, because it, it is an 05. Here, hold on. It's an 05, and I just had a hat on, so sorry about the hair. But uh, it's an 05, so it's an LS2, the 6.0 uh, 6 liter. It's not the 6.2 like this one. Uh, but it, it definitely is a lot lighter. You can feel it right away. And uh, the reason I came to look at it is because I'm looking at C6s. I've been looking at them for a couple of weeks now, and... Uh, as much as I love to get a C7, financially right now, it's not a good idea because yes, I could afford it, but um, I do want to buy a house within the next two years. So I don't want to have a $40,000 loan right now. And I also want to get a C8 Z06 uh, when that gets released. So another reason I'm looking at C6 is something uh, as a little project car, something a little older, something I can pay off in a couple of months or a year maybe. I mean, this one right here is uh, stickered at 14.5. I think my dad's about to hop in. Oh. Uh, so I'm gonna go look at another option. Gonna go look at an LS3 uh, silver Corvette, but really would prefer to get a red one because, well, as if you guys haven't noticed, I kind of uh, like red cars. So gonna look at a silver one too. Uh, decided I get, I got their car and I might come back and just buy this one eventually. Uh, but gonna gonna wait on it a few weeks, sleep on it, make sure it's the right decision. Because uh, I have looked at C7s and that's definitely not an option. I, I, it's too much. Because um, I want to be able to keep this car. I don't want to have to trade this car in. So C6 is looking like the move. Preferably an LS2 one. Because I kind of want to build an LS2 since I have an LS3 that I could also build uh, with this car. So I think an LS2 would be a cool option. Have a different engine. Uh, kind of a different, I mean, same layout, but kind of a different experience with an LS2. All right, guys, so we stopped here at Costco and Lodi, and I just want to talk to you guys real quick and let's just tell you guys why in the hell did I all of a sudden go and look at a C6. Let me just put my hat back on because my hair is way too long since no barbershop is open because of coronavirus. Coronavirus is ruining everything. Just want to state that real quick. Um, but anyways, back to what I was going to talk about. Uh, the reason I went to go look at the C6 today is because I want to get a car on the channel that I could fix up a little bit fix some little things that are broken on it and basically have a project car that i can actually make dedicated to go to the track and to go into the hills and to do excuse me to do fun things with because there's some people walking in front of my car uh, i just want a car that i can actually have t some more fun with because the core uh the camaro uh is it's a great car i love this car and that's kind of the problem. I love this car and I want something that I don't have too much attachment to or that it wasn't as expensive as this car because this car costed me quite a bit. Uh, getting It was close to 40 grand because we bought it. It was only like a year old, a year and a half old. 
So this car was a little bit more expensive. Uh, and it kind of hurts to do stuff in this car. Like when I took it to the track, it was fun and all, but it hurts to beat the hell out of this car because it did cost, you know, it cost a, a, a nice amount. So I think I'm going to change my build um, build idea for this car. I want to start taking care of this car a little more. I do still want to put some long tubes on it, uh, get it tuned, get a verbal tune on it. Put some new, uh, I want to put some 1 Elite wheels. Actually, I might go stance wheels. I want to put some wheels on this car, um, put some beefier tires in the rear, probably go 305. Get a one-piece drive shaft because this car needs it and some beefier axles. Uh, put it on coils. And that's basically going to be it for this car. Maybe get a wrap done. Maybe I'm th I was thinking about getting it wrapped. Kind of want to go like a... Um, I was thinking about doing like a satin... What color was it? It was a satin... Um, like a tan. Kind of like a desert tan type of wrap. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, this car is going to be more of my Cars and Coffee show car. Kind of a car show car. And then the Corvette, I kind of want to build to take it to like car meets, night meets, stuff like that. Basically be more of my, my fun car, my screw around do whatever not be scared if i will break it because i still have this car to drive uh type of car so i can do i can make some more crazy content for you guys maybe do some more racing go to the track go to the drag strip so that's basically why i want to get the c6 and it's a very affordable car for the amount of performance i'll get out of it i mean basically the price of a old used corolla and we're getting 400 horsepower with rear wheel drive six speed manual 50 50 weight distribution and it's still a target top so really love that c6 probably gonna come back and pick it up uh in a week if it's still there next weekend i might just pull the trigger uh if not i am gonna look at other c6s and i will get i will be bringing a corvette to the channel i want to own a corvette and the c6 is kind of the perfect one because it's still modern enough to where it's not cheap like the c5 is completely outdated now the c6 is to where a point where it's old but it's not too old yet. It's still it's still it's still relevant. So the C7 is a little too expensive still, and I don't want to spend that much money right now because I want to get a C8. So I think the C6 is going to be the move as a project car, and then C8 Z06 possibly in a year or two, or an exotic car. I'm I have been looking at Huracans and McLarens, which I think would be a little cooler to own than a Corvette. But the Corvette the Z06 is going to be a killer car, and I know it's going to be dummy fast. But anyways. That's basically all I wanted to say. That's the reason I'm looking at C6s, and I think I'm going to have to pull the trigger on one. Going to make a little fun little project build for you guys, and let me know what you guys think. Comment down below if you guys think a C6 would be cool to bring on the channel and actually have some, some proper fun with it. And uh, I think you guys understand what I'm talking about and do some crazy things on the channel with the C6. All right, just got back home from the... From the dealership checking out that c6 gonna put this right here and i was gonna put the window decal on right now but it is kind of raining still and i'm pretty sure it's about to start pouring oh peep to the other decal that i put on the mirror not too long ago too um but i'll probably come back out here in a little bit to film the outro and maybe put that on i'm not sure if i can do that today because it hasn't stopped raining and it doesn't look like it's gonna stop raining anytime soon but anyways uh, i'm gonna head inside and then we'll come back out and check the car out in like a couple hours hopefully it stops raining all right guys so I uh, decided to do the decals in the rain. Dedication. I'm freezing, but it looks really nice. Got it on both quarter windows, so I took off my decals on both windows. And I think it looks pretty good. I have no decals on the back except for my button willow decal now, too. If you can see this side. I like it because it's very low-key. It's very subtle. You don't notice it too much, but it's there. Uh, I wanted to have a flag somewhere on the car. I thought about doing the huge wrap on this side of the American flag, but I wanted something a little more low key, a little more subtle. So I think this will this will do. Uh, I'm gonna be taking off. Maybe the, actually I'm gonna leave the gills. Uh, leave that too. I'm gonna start cleaning up the Camaro, making it uh, look a little nicer, the vinyl work uh, and decal wise. I'm gonna get these tinted professionally pretty soon. I'm gonna get these this redone because I did this, and if you look at it closely, it's not straight at all i don't know if the camera picks it up but it's not very good looking up close and i'm gonna take those stripes off because i really don't like them anymore and i'm gonna do the full uh satin roof or satin uh hood i mean and maybe a glass black a gloss black roof all right guys so we are in a mazda uh i think this is like a i don't even know what kind of model this is it's a mazda wagon that's all i know it is a manual so we got the fun stick that's what i call the manuals the fun sticks and uh gonna take this this is a client's car taking this over to alex's house um we aren't operating vulcan right now because of the coronavirus but this is kind of a, a special type of thing because this is my it's my neighbor's car it's my dad's friend so i tell him i'll do the headlight restoration 
for him, $20 job. And uh, since, I mean, we haven't been making any income since we can't operate on a full detail and like we can't find, we can't get clients right now because people don't want to go out and we're not supposed to be getting clients right now because well, we can't be operating because of the coronavirus, but gonna do this headlight restoration. Gonna show you guys how to do a headlight restoration. So that's probably should have been a separate video, but I'll just put it in the title somewhere or maybe that'll be the actual title of the video. So if you guys came here to watch the headlight restoration, cause I, that's what I titled it. I'm sorry, you guys probably have to watch like five minutes or six minutes of other stuff. What should I? All right, I don't know. I might toss this into a different video now that I thought about it out loud. I might just toss it into the video and just, if you watch it all the way till now, you can learn how to do headlight restoration. I think that's what I'll do. So I just figured this out. I guess this is like a Mazda Speed 6 wagon. Cause it says, it says Mazda 6 right there. Or maybe it's just a Mazda 6 wagon. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not, a, I'm not a Mazda guy, but this thing drives really nice. I'll just, the downshift is like, this thing, the transmission is really nice for like a little wagon. The shifter is really notchy. Uh, you really can feel what gear you're going into. It's really solid transmission. And the dashers are nice. They're, they're real clicky. Like you can feel what gear you're going into. So it's nice for like a little daily. It's one of the little cleanest like regular, regular cars I've ever driven, I guess you could say. <clears throat> it's a really cool little car. I really like this thing. Like for a wagon, it's pretty dope. I mean, look, I got the little rear windshield wiper going. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, I completely forgot I was going to film the headlight restoration. But uh, I'll go over a little rundown real quick to show you guys how to do it and uh show you guys the results so headlights look basically brand new came out great ah uh, the freaking gopro's upside down i'm gonna have to flip this on imovie but anyways anyways hey what's what's going on guys it's the cyclone welcome to my first video come soon all right anyway so back to what i was saying so since i forgot to film this i'm literally going to show you guys how to do a headlight restoration in about 30 seconds yeah i don't know so you get sandpaper you get a 3000 grit 5000 grit don't go lower than that because you're probably going to scratch the hell out of the headlights. So get a bucket of water, get some all-purpose cleaner, clean the... Alright, had to switch over to the iPhone because the GoPro literally just died. But as I was saying, I'm going to explain how to do a headlight restoration in about 60 seconds because I forgot to film as we were doing it because we, me and Alec were talking, kind of got sidetracked and completely forgot to film it. But you need sandpaper, a bucket, a spray bottle to spray some water on there, and then you need... Um, <clears throat> A buffing pad, heavy cut compound, and correction compound, and polish if you want to get a little bit more uh, more shine. But all you do is you go at it with your sandpaper, your uh, 3000 grit, then your 5000 grit, uh, get them all hazy looking. First clean them, clean them with all-purpose cleaner, and then go sand them down, then get your uh, get your buffer out, or your, uh, here we go, where is it? Get an orbital buffer, dual action buffer. Uh, where the hell did I put ours? Oh, it's, it's underneath the rags. Get one of these out and just hit it uh, with your heavy cut compound, correction compound, and it'll get as new. All right, guys, back from Alex's house. Camaro sitting in the drive. I completely forgot to film the outro. And uh, since I was literally just editing the video right now, it's like two in the morning, but I came out here to film the outro. My neighbor is having a like, party by himself. Like my neighbor is home and he's like blasting music at two in the morning. So he's jamming out there. But anyways, um, Came out here just to film the outro real quick, and I realized the headlight restoration explanation was kind of terrible. Uh, I left it in just so you guys can kind of get an idea, but I will be making a full video maybe tomorrow on how to do a headlight restoration properly. And I'm probably gonna do some more DIYs about detailing uh, later on here in, on the channel. Uh, might st start a second channel just for detailing tutorials. If you guys are interested in that, comment down below, but might just make a few videos on here, see how it goes, and then make another channel. But anyways, guys, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. C6 coming to the channel soon. A lot of content coming to you guys soon. Coronavirus ain't stopping us. Peace out.